hey guys welcome back to my channel um this message is pretty straightforward it's get out of your comfort zone get out of your comfort zone it's something here that you're being called to do or some form of a shift that's coming your way that will require you to get out of your comfort zone it's going to require you to let go of the familiar or what you're used to certain patterns you know it'll be different for everybody but i feel like you're in this energy of wanting more or it's like you're manifesting change in your life whatever this is that's inspiring this change or how this change will come it's meant for you yeah it's going to come pretty quickly i'm seeing too but get out of your comfort zone and it's kind of crazy the way i got that message i was um looking at my fan and on the fan it says comfort zone so i'm not that i think that's like a company or something maybe for fans who knows but i took that as a message uh, um to give to the collective get out of your comfort zone it's time to get moving it's time for something to shift for you right and you've been calling this in thank you spirit for letting me okay yeah so making some type of plans on moving forward some type of there's something here that you could have been you could have been wanting this for a while or you could have been or maybe this is what spirit is telling you right now this is where you need to be in the space of planning towards your goals taking those next steps towards what you're wanting this this change that's coming your way is going to be a big step for you and it may not look the same as everybody else it may not um seem as big or maybe it is bigger but i'm just kind of getting the energy of you focusing and zoning in on what you need to do or some this shift that's happening for you it's, it's divinely for you so yeah you're taking those next steps towards this goal that you have or something here that's meant to come your way i just feel like for somebody here is traveling i'm not even gonna lie somebody's gonna move or I, I, i've been picking that up heavy for the collective yeah something just might be going a little slower than someone anticipated but it's going to take a risk and something about you bringing this focus back um maybe your focus you are maybe unaligned or certain things were distracting you or taking from your focus yeah so we have obedience here so it's definitely something that's you're being guided to it's like a, a certain obedience to yourself or a certain obedience to source or something that you've been feeling spiritually guided and it's, it's you have to listen to this because this risk that you're taking this risk is going to help to free your energy whereas and if you've been feeling trapped or something has been keeping you trapped whether it's karmic energies from your hometown or whether it's friends family whether it's a certain job or um something that you've been doing but you've been feeling called to do something else or branch off and do something else this is you know whatever this is the change is, is is meant for you with the high priestess of water here which is about change water is a release water is flow um but yeah this is a card of change um so somebody's been intuitively being guided somebody's a high priestess here or it's highly intuitive highly intuitive individual either way you're just being guided to take some sort of risk here and i, I get the vibe that it's like um what's the it's something that i'm lean not into your own understanding is kind of the energy that i'm getting but also like having blind faith right although you may not see the entire picture or, or the entire staircase or the ending you have to know that it's all working out ultimately for your highest good this change is divinely guided um listen to your your intuition your third eye about this whatever this is that you're supposed to be moving forward towards i feel like this could take a lot of um courage for somebody here maybe you've been putting yourself holding yourself back in the past or maybe because of fear or something here is expanding for you though to help you to move forward any type of mental blockages or things that have been keeping you in the energy of stagnancy have been closed out it's cut i'm kind of getting this energy like yeah this is like divine intervention with the sword here some type of balance and justice coming back into your life because you are obedient or because you're going to listen to some type of guidance that you're receiving here and this is coming through like strongly for the collective like y'all been there's a lot of spiritual guidance um to help shift things for us spirit is placing people in different towns and different cities um different jobs and areas where maybe before you would have never thought you would have or other people would have never thought an opportunity like that would come to you or you know just didn't see it happening but this is all divinely guided something here that's happening here is a, it's a shift um yeah we got the great severing so yeah it's, it's something that's being cut from your life or it's something here even about yourself 
it's like you're cutting ties with the past somebody's letting something go completely and I'm, i could tell y'all this from like major confirmation even for myself and certain changes that have been happening for me um it's gonna be a shift and y'all not gonna really see it coming but it's for your highest good and the, the most important thing is that you trust it and you trust your intuition and know that you are so protected like nothing nothing is even gonna harm you yeah, you, it says you'll survive this new solutions and beginnings. So, yeah, like I said, somebody's being pushed out of something that they're used to. It's going to take you getting out of your comfort zone. This is entirely new. You're not used to whatever this is that's coming your way. I'm getting a lot of earthy vibes, too. Somebody could be being more outdoors with this new beginning or something here about maybe the placement. Like you're moving somewhere where it may have a lot of water or mountains, maybe for somebody, a lot of trees. I'm just reading the card, but yeah, something here that you'll survive. It's like it's time for you to go within and trust yourself right now on this journey because you're being pushed out. It's kind of, I'm getting like an image of a fledgling in my head. Like you, you're getting pushed out of the tree. Spirit is trusting you. And as I say that, it's like on this card, somebody's falling from like the sky or the ethers. But yeah. Also, somebody's releasing some type of coping mechanisms or codependent energies maybe you've always felt so connected to these energies or things you're leaving behind or this could even be certain um addictions drinking smoking overworking anything could be an addiction anything that's an over access isn't really i don't really think it's beneficial so yeah something here is it's time to it's like you're integrating this it's, it's time to let all this go with some type of um transmutation that's happening here it's also very spontaneous as i said something here is happening spontaneously and this is all divinely guided it's going to feel like a big shift a big sever in your life where you, you're just leaving something completely behind but it's it's divinely guided and this is going to help to bring some type of um creation or some type of new energy into your life as it said but trust that just, just trust the timing of everything trust that every little thing on your path right now is divinely guided nothing is coincidence um or happenstance also yeah somebody may be being um tested right now sorry i'm so blind but yeah somebody may be being tested right now something about your anger keep your peace i'm here keep your peace don't let people take you out your body or it, it could be some certain attacks being sent your way to get you to to feed off your energy, to feed off that anger or whatever the energy that you're you will be putting out there, because your energy is powerful. So you gotta be careful of you know things that want to leech or use you as an energy source. I see new friendships coming into your life or new people that you can trust. Maybe this is what you're needed to go towards to bring in more of this um, energy of union into your life. Yeah. Somebody's going to be meeting, like, some type of new love as well. Or you maybe already met this person. Maybe y'all started off as friends. Hmm. Somebody's kind of having, like, a hard time understanding something. You could be confused about something right now. Yeah. Um, but it's like your intuition going to be telling you exactly what you need to know. So trust your intuition over any confusion. Your intuition going to be... Basically, it's going to be there. It's going to be that gut feeling like you already know the truth. But it, again, it might be this other, this doubt within you or because you already have this understanding within you, this silent knowing. But it's it's like maybe you you doubt yourself sometimes or sometimes you confuse your intuition with fear. I don't know. It's something here where you just need to trust your, your own inner wisdom for sure. And because somebody here has like some type of psychic ability or they're, they're very intuitive here. And it's like, you know or some, type, some sort of wisdom that's being passed on to you right now is going to help you. It's towards some type of expansion that spirit is wanting you to go towards, for sure. Don't be afraid to really, like, do this or take the next steps. This is all divinely guided. Like, you may be thinking, um, you may not know the difference, but I'm hearing right now, like, whatever you're hearing or you will hear will be divinely guided. So let go of any type of lack mentality or feeling victimized or, like, you don't have enough or... You know, like you can't. I see some type of connections. Somebody has connections here or there will be connections coming into your life that are going to help you to expand and move forward or like bringing new opportunities your way. I 
feel like you're going to be doing something different than how you... It's something here about the energy just shifting or being different. It's not going to be the same. That's how you will know. Somebody could really be into fashion here. Or somebody could want to model. I don't know. That could be for somebody specifically. Maybe you're going to get an opportunity to model once you take this risk for somebody here. Or something here. Yeah. Pertaining to that. Any type of psychic attacks, any type of spiritual attacks, you are already protected. You're divinely protected. Any door that is not of source has been shut already. Don't worry. Something about your energy is like very intriguing at this time, I feel like. Or it's, it's, maybe this has to do with the shift that's happening in you. Yeah. I feel like it's like somebody's energy is becoming more maybe mysterious or alluring to others. And it's like a lot of people maybe trying to figure you out right now or see what's to you. It's like it's something different about you. Also, I'm kind of getting like you have like this innocence to you. You have like this light to you, but it's also you have like another side to you. Like it's like this um, something here that's quite unseen or not fully understood by others. But it's, it's like almost kind of opposite to the light side. Wow. As I was saying, opposite to the light side two sides came out this this is this is crazy so you have like a light and dark side to you right like this one side that's kind of light and there's another side that's not quite understood it's like you're a, um what's the word you're complex you're maybe it's like maybe people think you contradict yourself it's a certain word that i'm looking for oh I don't know, but your complexities make you stand out. They make you different. Um, it's, a, it's a word. It's right on the tip of my tongue that I can't quite figure it out. I don't know. But yeah, somebody here is like, you have these different sides to you and it's time for you to embrace this. This is what makes you different. Something about your dark side as well as your light that you're needed to embrace. You don't have to just be light all the time or just be this, you know, love and light all the time. You can embrace your darkness. You can be who you truly are. And I feel like that's who you are. You're, you're, you're embracing both um, light and dark, dark aspects of yourself. Maybe that's where this pull is coming from. Maybe you feel pulled between two different paths. Maybe you're, you feel like the your light is telling you to go one way and you're this darkness but darkness does not always equate to evil or you know bad things so keep an open mind when i say darkness as well but yeah somebody has like these two sides to them um yeah i feel like this 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 um these two different sides within you it kind of has an advantage for you don't deny yourself of either side right it's about balance but these two sides this is kind of like yin yang um it's like it gives you an advantage some people may underestimate you a lot because they see that light within you too and they think it's easy to that to get over on you or they think you're naive but then they find out i'm just shuffling they find out that it's like a totally different story but yes trust is wisdom that's within you that's kind of telling you to go towards some sort of shift Somebody here is really, I'm going to show y'all the cards. I don't know why I'm feeling getting, feeling called to show y'all. All of these cards are kind of dark. It's like a, a big contrast. Maybe you're seeing things in black and white right now. Like you're seeing things at those extremes. Like it's either this or it's that. But maybe it's more so about balancing certain things. It's more so about what you do with what you have or what you do with um, two extremes of something, right? If you're following with what I'm saying. So hopefully so far, um, if this is for you, you can still follow what I'm saying. But it's about the balance of something. Not so much of, oh, it's this. It's black, it's white. But also trust your intuition. If something's telling you that um, something isn't for you, then it's not. But that that's definitely significant the way this came out. Okay. Yeah, some here that somebody feel like they can't even really you it's something here you may feel like you can't completely speak on or you haven't been speaking on. 
but it's some type of truth here. Whatever it is, is you got the truth. You you know what's going on. It's like it's something here with it's an inner knowing within you, but maybe you're not completely speaking up about it. I do feel like a big change though is coming here. Something is helping to open your heart chakra as well. I feel like somebody's gonna be um feeling like a big difference in their heart chakra or the way that they've been um the way they've been feeling love or giving love something here is like it's a big growth spurt i'm hearing like yeah transformation as i cut the day so yeah something is definitely transforming and something here you may have felt like something was taking your power or your energy but i, I see you reclaiming all of that so yeah somebody's reclaiming their energy they're taking their power back i just feel like this is time for that but also this could have to do with this this change that's coming this this guidance that you're feeling or that you're being told to go forth with Yeah, something's gonna be like a new adventure for you um it's saying like to be ready for the unexpected i do feel like yeah a lot of y'all may not be expecting this change or as quickly as it's gonna come believe me it's gonna be a shift and it's gonna happen so very quickly like that's why spirit is telling you now or that's why your intuition and your higher self has been guiding you and telling you now to get ready to to just get out of your comfort zone to do something different to experience different you've been feeling stuck you've been feeling like you're in a rut or like you've been in a routine doing the same things over and over maybe it feels like um you kind of lost this a set a certain a certain piece of hope or oh i just got the strongest deja vu you guys so something here is like being said that maybe it's happened before or pay attention to your the, the cycles in your life pay attention to things that are repeating themselves oh my god this is like the strongest deja vu and when i get deja vu no coincidence but yeah if the path ahead seems dark um ask your spirit team your your guys to light up the way ask your intuition to light up the way just ask for it ask for clarity you're gonna get everything you're asking for it all you have to do is ask asking you shall receive right know that the power you hold within you is real um, this is all a part of reclaiming your power, reclaiming this destined path that's for you. Stop being afraid to be who you are. Stop being, stop going after your dreams mediocre in a mediocre style or half ass and shit. Like, no, I'm hearing whoever you are, whoever I'm speaking to, you have so much power to you. And it's only you that's holding you back. It's so much in life that's waiting to just, it's, it's waiting to just come your way to be birthed. It's already here for you. It's just waiting for you to align with this. It. all about the alignment. So whoever you are, man, when you step up to the plate, when you finally get serious about it, and it's like you showing yourself, not just the world. It's not like you have anything to prove or show, but you're showing yourself who you really are and you're breaking any limitations and self-doubts and all that um, self-perceived self limitations within yourself that you're releasing, you're cutting ties with this. That's the great severing. And whatever this is you're leaving behind, um, whatever this is that spirit is kicking you out of the nest for, best belief is for your highest good. Best belief is for your ascension and your um, evolution. So, yeah, I just have to get that out. But just know that this new beginning that's coming your way, be excited for it. Um, know that when it, when you're ready and you fully step up, it's going to be like so magnetic. Things are going to just be falling into place for you. Opportunities coming together. But it's all about you switching your mindset and getting out of that lack mentality and getting out of this energy of feeling like it's not going to happen or some type of change here can't. It's, it's wishful thinking or it's not gonna it's not gonna come through because it is right it takes a little bit of imagination and shit sometimes what some would say is um delusion to actually get what you want because that's manifesting seeing it before it gets here believing it before it gets here so yeah so yeah some type of adventure some type of change coming your way trust the synchronicities um it says there is no such thing as chance in our incredible universe as i was saying earlier uh nothing is happenstance nothing is just coincidence so yeah even that wasn't coincidence even the deja vu that i just had a couple minutes ago wasn't coincidence none of this is coincidence everything that's happening right now is divinely guided to happen so please don't be afraid to take those next steps please don't be afraid to get out of your comfort zone and do something you've never done before do it afraid do it scared do it you know um not completely not completely sure but it's like at the same time you're sure because your intuition is letting you know but i remember on that card spirit is showing me again this card the blindfold and the 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 words on this card is obedience be obedient 
to this this higher calling be obedient to this push you feel be obedient to your higher self this change that's coming your way is going to it's going to it's going to involve you getting out of your comfort zone you getting out of your own way you trusting past yourself it's you trusting something here if you got a blindfold on and you still going forth it, it takes trust right so yeah coincidences and synchronicities are carefully orchestrated by your guides so recognize recognize them as the hand of spirit the hand of spirit is in all of our lives right now guiding us collectively this is not like i said by happenstance so no when you see synchronicities that get that make that a chance to raise your vibration and i see people saying like oh i see so many people always catching angel numbers it's nothing significant it is significant and this time i get communication from spirit it's significant i don't care what the message is it's significant it raises my vibration it lets me know they're communicating with me they hear me they see me they're with me they support me they love me they're they're passing wisdom onto me whether i see it as positive or negative whatever the case may be it's it's, it's a good it's a sign i'm not gonna say good or bad because i don't really think it's about it being good or bad but know that synchronicities exist for a reason it's to let you know you're on the right path or to let you know that you're not alone right so when you notice them know that there are messages yeah as it says that you're on the right path so and know that there's a divine reason behind them yeah so yeah and underneath that is communication come on now all of this it's all of this is just divinely guided you're always in contact and communication with your guides um in case you're confused in case you don't know what to do next be silent sit in meditation tap in and what you hear after that you can have the discernment to know this is this is real spiritual guidance right if it is or not so yeah it'll resonate with you a certain resonance will come forth will come from you or will come to you but also um with the truth that i speak now as well you won't know if this resonates with you or not don't make nothing fit that ain't for you but something here about your communication is strengthening as well something with the communication and your relationships um around you is also about to be improving maybe somebody that you weren't in communication with at one point and maybe you guys are going to get back in contact but this is all divinely guided uh, but something about communication that's going to be a shift in communication as well maybe the way you're expressing yourself the way you you speak um the way you pray the way you you meditate or anything like with communication it's something here that's significant so it says always keep channels of communication open so yeah, with your with your guides too. Don't close yourself off to any type of communication. This is a time of honesty right now that's going to your on that's gonna it's needed in your life for this change to move forward. Um yeah. Where we at? I might just stop it here. I'm gonna pull a couple more. Uh I just feel like that's the message pretty much. Yeah, somebody's vision. I feel like trust your own intuition, trust what spirit has been guiding you or telling you this is some type of vision you have but you have here you've been given and it's time to see it through this it's time to see it through something is coming to an end a conclusion in your life but this end is divinely guided and you're going to see that you're being pushed to something different i'm hearing there is no limit there is no limit with confidence here there is no limit take the risk you need to stop doubting yourself. Remember your, who you are it's with self-worth. Stop doubting yourself. Take this risk. Listen to this inner guidance. Even if you don't quite understand it at the time, it will come to you later. You can figure it out later on what it means. But I, I'm, I promise when you get the, the sudden urge, you get that strong desire, that strong feeling within to do something or to go within a certain direction, to let something go. Listen. Just listen. You're not being given these this this feeling or this wisdom for no reason something is molding you into a more confident person this ending that's happening this conclusion in your life where you're wrapping things up it's like you don't you might not even see exactly what spirit is doing for you but it's gonna bring fulfillment somebody really don't even see like how good it's getting or it's gonna get okay. yeah but right now standing your strength remember your wisdom yeah, I just feel like this is about reclaiming your power. So also looking deeper into your roots. I'm getting for somebody look deeper into your roots. It's something that you're gonna find out, or something that about maybe your lineage or your your um this just change that's coming. This is from your ancestors as well. But it's something about um somebody's roots here. I'm getting um 
it's going to tell you a lot of truth about why you are the way you are or somebody's also i'm getting somebody's ancestor is sending them this strength it's an owl here as well some type of wisdom somebody has a certain spirit guide that's with them at this time and they're they're letting you know that they're always with you they're a part of you that you're not alone i feel like for some of y'all this is somebody that you've known in this lifetime not for all of y'all this is for maybe a very select few but this could be like um somebody that was close to you at one point this could be a sister a sibling um i don't know why i just said sister so somebody's sister could have passed and they're with them this could be a, a feminine energy a mother figure for some of y'all um that's with you at this time sending you strength telling you to be confident that they're with you this vision that you have is not in vain these signs that you're getting the synchronicities are not in vain this, these endings are not in vain they're not for no reason it's not just coincidence or just things that are happening because they could just happen no everything is divinely guided okay so yeah um somebody's ancestors definitely here even if it's not a feminine energy it could be a male it could be any anyone at this point but i was getting feminine energy so yeah they're with you you're not alone um you're divinely protected trust your wisdom embrace both all of your facets all of your size you're um so incredibly powerful you're meant to do great things or big things right now trust the severing that's going on in your life and the big transformation thank you guys for tuning in um hope you got the message you needed to get from this reading um that's it don't forget to like share and subscribe again likes really help my channel so if you actually do get something from my messages please start liking my videos um it's a fair exchange it's an energy exchange if i'm giving you a message if i'm giving you downloads and things spirit is passing on to me if they're helping your life in any way you know just give me a like give me a share subscribe thank you